We're back with today's top story. Donald Trump becoming the first former U.S. president to be convicted of a felony crime. And he was found guilty of all 34 charges in the hush money trial. Washington correspondent Basil John is in New York City in front of the courthouse with more on this historic moment. History was made as Donald Trump was convicted by the New York jury for falsifying business records before the 2016 election. And this can't be allowed to happen to other presidents. It should never be allowed to happen. Former President Donald Trump says the fight isn't over after he was found guilty in the hush money trial. So we're going to be appealing this scam. Trump is now the first former U.S. president to be convicted of a crime and now faces a possible punishment of four years in prison. New York District Attorney Alvin Bragg calls this a huge win. We should all uh, be thankful for the careful attention uh, that this jury paid to the evidence and the law. Jury deliberations took place over two days as the verdict came down near the end of the second day. The only voice that matters is the voice of the jury. Some of the president's most loyal supporters, like Colorado Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, call this a political prosecution. This is malpractice of, uh, of our judicial system. But Victoria Nurse with Georgetown Law School says the jury did its job how it was supposed to. They actually did their homework. I mean, they asked for the replay of the testimony. I think they did their job. Trump's sentencing for the hush money case is scheduled for July 11th at 10 a.m. Reporting in New York City, I'm Basil John.